Hi Aquarius, this is going to be your June 2019 general reading. So how this is going to work is that this could be for career, it could be for love, it could be for any other area as well. It could be all about you as well. So um, this is quite an open reading in that sense. So we'll see what messages come out for you for June 2019. Um, and yeah, the title of the video might give away some some kind of a uh, hint as to what it is. Um, I just want to mention if you'd like to win a private reading, information is going to be down below, and also for paid private reading information and my bracelets which are on Etsy, so they are handmade, spiritually charged bracelets, um, especially these ones. Some of them are not. Sorry guys, I have a stain on my jumper, probably not what you want to see, um, but I have the Libra one here, I have the Virgo one here, and then I do have all of the other signed ones on my Etsy as well, and sorry I'm not wearing the Aquarius one because I don't really have any Aquarius in my chart, um, but um, I was born actually on the cusp of Virgo and Libra, that's why I have both of them on my wrist. Um, so yeah, um, those are all going to be on there, free international shipping, they are handmade, these beaded ones are handmade by me, the other ones are spiritually charged, um, and uh, everything will be down there. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, let's see what's happening for June 2019 for you. <laughs> that like proper flew out, so... I know what I see, and I see some good stuff. It's interesting, actually, that um, these came out because I shuffled. I shuffled this. I, like, proper shuffled it. And same cards came out in the Libra reading. Wow. Okay. So we've got the Knight of Cups with the Empress. We've also got Temperance with the Four of Swords. Lovely. Really, really good start. I, I love I love seeing these cards together actually because I, I do see that um, there's going to be a situation where you're either with someone right now, so you could be dating them or you may be their boyfriend or their girlfriend. And I'm also seeing another situation where someone is going to, so if you're not in a, you know, like a relationship or dating someone, then there is someone that's going to be coming towards you. So this is two situations, uh, two situations, sorry, I can't speak, that I'm reading on. And both of these situations have a very similar message underlying. So I just want to make that very, very clear, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're dating, or perhaps you're not in a relationship, but I do see someone coming towards you with this Knight of Cups energy, they consider you to be very kind, caring, nurturing, loyal. This is the energy of the Empress that I'm really reading on, ruled by Venus, um, and someone that is just very mature, very grown, is just, you know, someone that just has their feet on the ground with this beautiful earth energy, and someone that just is very, is very nice, is very kind, but not a pushover, someone that stands in their power, and is just very, very wonderful is that energy so you may be a male or a female but i'm specifically reading um aquarius that this is your energy and they're very attracted to that they're coming towards that energy what i'm seeing is that they may be a little bit cautious they may be a bit slow they may be taking their time with things just because they want to approach you in the right way they want to make sure that they are in the best state uh, to do so because I do see that they have this tendency to put you on a pedestal they think very very highly of you and so you know there, there could be times or you know there could be a period of time where they they may come towards you with some kind of communication and then you may not hear them for, from them for a little while um, so but they will be back again so if this is someone that is constantly ghosting you and disappearing or being disrespectful for you this probably isn't the reading that is going to resonate with you I'm seeing this person as someone that you know may just disappear for a little while but they're they're going to come back and they're going to be, you know, quite sorry for it and they're not going to mean it and they're not going to do it again as, as in that. But they're, they're doing it because they they want to make sure that they come towards you in the correct manner and that they say the right thing, they do the right thing, especially with the Temperance card. Temperance is ruled by Sagittarius. Sagittarius is all about action. You know, Sagittarius can be here, there, everywhere. But this Temperance card is them trying to really balance themselves, taking, you know, everything one step at a time, making sure they're doing the right thing, emotionally grounding themselves as well. So they're really being quite cautious. Also with this Four of Swords, it's about them really taking time and space, trying to evaluate the situation, what they should and shouldn't do. So they're trying to be very cautious towards you. So yeah, this um, five of pentacles could be that little 
uh, gap where they perhaps disappear because they're trying to really figure out what the right thing is to do. So for some of you, you may feel like they've left you in the cold, you know, they've abandoned you, or maybe they just haven't spoke to you and they don't care or whatever, but it's just them trying to get themselves rebalanced, regrounded, because they really do think so highly of you. They put you on that pedestal. So for some of you, you're going to feel like they've left you in the cold, but it's very, very temporary. It's going to be just for a tiny little while. Um, and, you know, it could just be a couple of days is what I'm seeing. If it's any longer than that, then, you know, I, I don't see that being a good thing. So this, you know, fires and terror are all about change. So that situation will change because we have growth here. We go from the five to the six of pentacles. And this is about them trying to then be much more balanced with you, trying to, you know, give you equally and again, be quite equal. So if you're in a situation where someone is not very equal with you or they're constantly, you're constantly having to do the work, this probably isn't the reading for you. But again, you have to intuitively judge the situation for yourself. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely seeing growth in that situation. You know, you'll feel like they've left you in the cold one second. The next minute, everything will be really great. They're trying to be as equal as possible. They're showing you their action, their intent, and things are very balanced and, and looking really great in terms of communication, in terms of, you know, them showing you what they mean through their actions. So that's what I'm seeing. So again, with this five... That I'm seeing we have another five here which is the five of cups and this again you know I think that some of you may literally think you know wallowing self-pity perhaps that you know this person has just kind of left you or ghosted you and um you know it's, it's going to be again very temporary the five is going to change so don't worry too much about that um oh my gosh so some of you really are going to be overthinking this quite a bit um perhaps thinking that you know they've tried to do something and then get away with it and not you know be super honest in the situation a lot of you're going to be reflecting a lot as to why they have just come in and then they've disappeared a little bit but i do see that this is perhaps you're worrying and over thinking state that is really kicking in because I do see that they're very genuine it's just they got scared of how incredibly amazing you are they put you on a pedestal they needed a little bit of time just to figure out how to then move forward with this but I don't see it as deceiving I'm really seeing that your energy is playing very very high and very heavily onto the fact that they could be deceiving you um which of course you know it's just your boundaries kicking in it's your you know it's it's your intuition as to you know you don't want to be left in the cold and abandoned or you don't want to get hurt so this is that really kicking in but I'm not seeing it that way this is just in your mind the fears that may get triggered seven of pentacles is about thinking it's about wondering why that happened so after this five to the six or seven you'll be wondering as to why that happened and the reason it happened was because they, they I wouldn't say necessarily they got scared it's just one, they wanted to be cautious and they wanted to make sure they didn't disrespect you they wanted to make sure that they treated you well they treated you right um so so for a lot of you, you're still going to be thinking quite heavily as to why they perhaps just disappeared for a while. So we've got the Eight of Swords, which again, this is this is your energy. I feel like your energy is very, very heavy. Um, you know, there's that sort of wandering energy. I'm just going to pull another card. That wandering energy as to like why someone would really do that to you. Um, which is no bad thing, but I'm just saying that I don't see it that way. And I've, I've done it right from the beginning of the reading. Um, this is just your energy. And I feel like perhaps if you feel that way or you have trust issues to that extent, of course, it's not nice when someone just disappears. But, you know, sometimes people do take a little bit of time just to figure out the situation. Um, you know, maybe there's some inner healing that needs to be done just to make sure that, you know, you're not overthinking things to the extent of, self-sabotaging a relationship I'm not saying that you are but sometimes you know even I have the tendency to do this because I'm I'm a Virgo son and I think about things so much um you know there's that tendency for some people where if they don't get a reply within an hour they automatically assume the worst um I I don't think about you know that to that extent but of course you do worry after a certain period of time and I'm seeing that worry is really sometimes it kicks in within you. So um, that's what I'm seeing here. So try and, you know, not trap yourself in this situation. Try and be open and free and take one you know, things one step at a time. Try and heal yourself if that's a situation that you get into quite a bit where you, you have perhaps a few trust issues or perhaps you're, you, you know, not able to be as... Um, as free-flowing should I say um you know it's, it's normal to think this of course in this situation but try and be uh, more balanced in your emotions because I do I do see that you know you get worried quite quickly 
um, in in terms of you know a situation like this. But I am seeing that this person is quite genuine. They will make things known to you. I've seen that from the very beginning. They will show you know their actions towards you. As I saw with the Temperance card, they will you know eventually they will come back around. Just takes them a little bit of time. And um, essentially, uh, well, I said a little bit of time, but I did say, you know, this this communication, it will only be dead for maybe a couple of days. But, you know, they really just need a little bit of time in terms of opening up. So you will be, you know, back in communication with them, but they're not going to be this full on, you know, coming towards you. That will take a little bit of time. They'll come towards you calmly like this, you know, with their cup. But then for them to turn into someone like this, again, it's going to take a bit of time to get from this to this. Um, but you will see that this is something that can be for the long term because we have the Ace of Pentacles, which indicates commitment. So again, you know, it's that higher level of commitment. So going from dating to then going to, you know, being boyfriend girlfriend or boyfriend boyfriend or girlfriend girlfriend um and you know then again it's that higher level of commitment so if you've only just met this person then it's you know that higher level of dating if you're you know in that boyfriend girlfriend or boyfriend boyfriend girlfriend girlfriend relationship then it's going to husband and wife or husband husband wife wife you know what I mean? It's that higher level of commitment. It's that long term aspect is what I'm seeing with this ace of pentacles. So you know, that's really positive. And of course, we've got fire energy here, which means they'll show that action towards you. They'll come much more towards you. They'll be much more of themselves and their personality. I feel like this person has a lot of fire energy in their chart. Doesn't necessarily mean they're, a, you know, a proper fire sign as in a sun fire sign. But somewhere in their chart, they would definitely have fire. So, you know, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, the person that, you know, this resonates with isn't a fire sign, it, 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 they probably do have fire somewhere in their sign is what I'm seeing but it could also be a proper sun sign that has you know a lot of fire so yeah Aquarius that is your reading do not be too scared in this situation you will know if this resonates with you or not but you know sometimes we, we overthink things and we can self-sabotage things and just overthink things so much that it ends up making us feel 10 times worse about the situation so try and let things go with the flow and uh, you'll feel much much better for it so Aquarius that is your reading I hope you liked it if you did don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already comment down below if this resonates with you and don't forget to check out the description box below for paid private reading information the giveaway which I am doing for a free reading and my bracelets which are on Etsy and I'll see you all very soon bye